I don't know if you find this, but I find sitting in my room here reading these um, verses of Revelation just really quite awe-inspiring because we sit in our tiny little rooms or wherever you do this and we're reading about things that are so far beyond us and that talk of the end of all things. Now it's hard to decipher exactly what they mean and I think it's a mistake for anyone to start putting dates and predicting the end of the world and even going into details about what the end of the world is going to involve because revelation just doesn't lend itself to that it's so symbolic but there are there are truths that we we can draw out here and we've been we talking about them all along but the big one it, from today's passage again is one of judgment and today's reading is quite a grim one it's reminiscent of the plagues that hit egypt but on a much grander scale the ones that hit the whole world and just as in Egypt, Pharaoh hardened his heart, he wouldn't repent. So too, it talks about how people today, even when God's presence is revealed beyond all doubt because of these plagues, people will refuse to repent and they will refuse to glorify his name. And that notion of refusing to repent is something that's just worth considering, perhaps as we draw and we meditate on today's passage. I don't know if you find this, but I find in my own heart, I'm willing to repent sometimes, but there are definitely other areas of my life that I just don't want to give over to God. I'm proud, I'm independent, and I don't want to bend the knee to anyone else. Why should I submit to, to, to anyone else? That's an attitude that I have in my human relationships. And of course, I carry a lot of that over into my relationship with God. And so although I glorify him and I worship him and I acknowledge him as my king, there are still certain areas of my life that I will refuse to bend the knee in. And so it's worth us taking this on board as a message for us, not simply as a message for people out there who are doing bad things. This is something that really we need to consider as his followers. What areas of our life are we unwilling to submit to? Because, and the truth, the Bible holds a mirror up because we're too proud, uh, because we're too independent. Is there anything that you just need to say to the Lord? I do actually surrender to you in this. I do actually submit to you in this. And just to unpack slightly some of the imagery, you see the bowls of wrath that are poured out upon the earth getting um, kind of progressively uh, grander and more, more magnificent and more terrible. And the final bowl, bowl seven that's poured out, wipes everything out. So it talks about that, you know, up until that point you've had massive earthquakes and all this stuff. And then this just erases everything. So heaven and earth, as it were, is wiped away completely. It is done. Uh, this is over. And it talks about this final wiping out of everything that will come and in, in its place will be eternity that we enter into. So that's pretty massive as you sit and read your Bible in your room, isn't it? It's crazy stuff. But there we go.